is this beautiful alleyway going up these really steep stairs across from the ferry station in Bellagio. It is just beautiful. The light is fantastic. Now I'm going to start with a pale yellow pretty much everywhere except my lightest lights. Because I want those white. There's not going to be enough contrast otherwise. And under here, I'm just going to turn that orangey color and then the green will contrast. Well, that has some bright white highlights on it. But this is pretty dark to contrast. really should have that railing in there. It's kind of an essential part of all the balconies and the flowers. Then back in here is darker. Might have those people in a little bit. There's pretty dark. Don't be scared to change things either. You need to change anything so that it becomes a better painting. What you're doing is you're not taking a photograph. You are painting a painting. And that means you have full editing power. It's a wonderful thing. It's what makes painting so much fun. Now in here is going to be the darkest dark against the lightest light. I'm going to just pull that yellow right into the sky there. Put a little bit of blue later, but I want that pale glowing yellow. This whole feeling should be sunlight, flowers, and that sort of thing. Added a tiny bit of quinacridone red. And the reason I'm not mixing it on the paper is I want a little bit more um, a little calmer. This is still just the initial layer or two. I have all sorts of painting rules of what I do and I don't do. And then I break them. You have to be able to break your own rules at least. Otherwise what fun would life be? Makes all the difference. I'm going to take some quin red, put it underneath here. This is more of a peachy. Yeah. There we go. 
still I want the whole feeling to be glowing, just glowing with light and color. Believe it or not, it's not the not the color that does that so much as the value pattern. Now, once I've reached this stage, the most important thing is I don't want to get rid of whites. Now I'm going to go in here with some cobalts, horizontal strokes. Remember, horizontal strokes make things lie down. Of course, you gotta remember that doing less is, oh, at least ten times harder than doing a lot, so there you go. That is the biggest challenge to me, is to simplify paintings, just keep on simplifying as much as possible. If you just suggest it with a couple strokes, it's much, much more powerful. If you paint every single tiny little detail, it loses its oomph. But you have to add just enough details that people know what it is. flowing. There's so much greenery in this, just the trailing vines and everything. I'm going to work some on that in this layer. Little stripes. So I'm going all around the painting just using that phthalo green with more or less yellow in it. It's very important that you go all around the painting when you do a color. You don't just have it isolated in one spot. Not too harsh. You can see here are just a couple little ups and downs. I go into this really dark area again. Notice how I'm leaving holes.
and all I'm really looking for is just the vague suggestion that there's some stairs there. Isn't that odd how the direction of a stroke makes all the difference? So always move with the object you're painting. A little bit more. Now this side over here is going to be darker to balance that. I'm going to add a couple more stairs in there for details, but and this already is giving it the idea of what I want. I don't want too much more than the idea. I really think about every stroke. Remember, the most detail has to be right in here. It's a little bit of dry brush. I'm going to use some green to do a shadow right in here. Barely there. I don't want to pay too much attention to this over here, so that means I don't want too many darks. But I do want it to help frame this whole thing, so some cobalt. Add a little bit dark. cobalt in there. Remember the most detail, center of interest. Underneath here needs to get back a bit.
just add a little bit of shadow. It's too large, I'll just kind of blank space. Finish off the people. This is actually pretty early in the morning, waiting for the ferry. But, you have to have people even at that hour. There's nothing more fun than going and having a cafe and maybe doing a little sketching and relaxing at an Italian cafe. See, so just do little dashing strokes. person needs to be wearing a little bit of red just to bring that color in there and for this person we'll I'm gonna let this dry some more darks back here and I also want to improve that curve a little bit. I darken that even more. A little bit more oomph. more color here. But really what I need to do is finish the people up. And I can't do that until it dries. A little bit of touch darker in here. that with a little bit darker. I want a little bit more emphasis right here. Just a touch.
empaths. And there's a painting of Colossia.